Hello, today I am going to show you how to output scale drawings from the Rhino model onto a layout for final print. To assign line weights to each layer, go to the layer panel over here. Under print width are drop down menus for different line thicknesses. So make the building layer 0.3, the property line layer 0.5, Trees 0.18, curb 0.18, striping 0.25, and annotation 0.18. These are the thicknesses that your lines will print on a piece of paper. Next, we want to change the layer settings so that they all print in black except for the striping layer. So you can change that by clicking on this diamond here and for striping we want to change that to 50% black. Next, let's play around with the line types. We can create a new line type by going to File, Settings, selecting line types, and creating a new line type. I already created a new line type for the boundary line. These other line types were presets that were already preloaded into the Rhino. So for the boundary line, we added six entries and make sure you set the units to millimeters and the scale to one. So five, one, two, one, two, one. It should look like this. Now we can set different line types to layers or individual objects. To set the entire layer to one line type, go over here and set your line type as the boundary line. To be able to visually preview the line types in the model, type set line type scale. Because we will be printing at 1 eighth inch equals 1 foot, we will type in 96. You can tell that Rhino has adjusted the line types to, um, to show a more accurate view of what it would look like when printed. An easy way to figure out the scale factor is by Googling scale factor chart AutoCAD and you will find a chart similar to this one so for example if you want to scale your drawing to half inch you would use the scale factor 24 when entering it into the line type scale on Rhino. Now if you want to make a curve a unique line type and override their master layer settings. We can adjust the line type under object properties. So as an example, I will select this line and make this dashed. To revert this, you can simply select by layer. We can also refine the line type by typing in line type display. And if we uncheck pattern by segment, it looks a little bit better. So just play around with the settings until you come up with something that looks good. Type units into your command box and note how there is two tabs, the model and the layout tab. In the layout tab, make sure your unit is in inches or centimeters if you're using the metric system. Next, we want to make a new layout. So just type layout and this window should pop up. You can rename your layout, set the initial detail count to one, your printer to PDF writer. If that's not available, it's not an issue. 
we should still be able to print PDFs regardless of the printer, which will be shown later. Um, and then set your paper size and press OK. Click onto this viewport box and underneath the side panel under layout detail we can change the scale because we have our units in model as feet and our units in layout as inches. The conversion is easy. One inch in the layout is equal to eight feet in the model. It should automatically adjust the drawing like so. We can adjust what is captured on this layout by double clicking into this window and right clicking to move what we want to capture on this paper. Earlier I had made two lines. One is eight feet long and one is one foot. We can check to see if we scaled the drawing properly by measuring the distances of these lines. That says one eighth of an inch and that says one inch. So we can be sure that we have scaled this drawing correctly. Now let's preview the PDFs. While in this layout, select File, Print, or alternatively, you could press Command P, and this window should pop up. Select the proper paper size, Make sure the scale is one to one. It doesn't really matter what the printer is. Select vector output. Now we can go ahead and open PDF in preview. This looks pretty good, except we can see that there is something wrong with the hatch. If you notice things like that, go back to the model or layout and tweak your drawings for the desired look and clarity. Make sure to refine the drawing until it is legible and clean. I am going to delete the hatch and rehash the building outline. Check boundary. That way you could easily select the proper boundary in which the hatch applies to. Click done and then press OK. We can keep the hatch on the building layer, but I want to adjust the hatch so that it prints gray. Now we can finally print the PDF. We can go ahead and go through the same exact steps we did before, but this time instead of previewing as a PDF, we could go ahead and save as PDF. So just name your file and press save.